everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to do another upload on um, NAC or um, N acetylistine or whatever it's called. I'm just going to show the version here. And it sits here like a 1000. Um, I take about one or two of these um, a day. And um, I, I initially had uploaded on, on NAC and I was still learning about it at that point. And I want to indicate something. With all the supplementation that I've been taking and the dietary changes, I have not fallen ill, meaning I have not had some severe flu like or the severe flu that I generally have. Um, my immune system was not that great. I always had some sort of sinus issue or cold. And since all of this incorporation this past year and a half um, has really assisted in that. So I just want to talk about NAC a little bit more. Um, so NAC is a precursor to um, glutathione, um, which essentially um, depletes out of your system as you age. So what it says, it it um, you know it replenishes um, the intracellular piece to glu glutathione. So it's a precursor to glu glutathione. So it's better than taking glutathione directly because this actually produces it, assists with, with producing it. So that's a good thing in terms of anti-aging. Now in terms of what NAC does, NAC is also um, something that um, lowers testosterone um, and also the you know, androgens within your system. Um, unfortunately, studies have not been done to indicate what percentage of supplementation you should be taking. And I wish, I hope, researchers look, look into, into this a little bit more. Um, consider you know, a person's body uh, mass size in terms of you know how much they should be taking to replenish and and so forth. Um, just I think that's very important. And anyways, um, that's my little critique of uh, information that's passed on through journals and things like that. They're not specific about amounts. So anyways, it does lower testosterone. Again, doesn't mention how much to take. Uh, improves menstrual regu regularity and frequency of ovulation. That's something I didn't know. Um, it actually, um, apparently, uh, there was a study that, had, that that was done, and it showed that um, it actually restored um, ov ovulation um, cycles. Um, I think in that study, though, it was combined with um, L-arginine supplements. Um, I'll have to double check, but in any case, NAC was one of them, and L-arginine, I think, were together restored ovulation. Um, it, uh, was, uh, what else was there? It supports egg quality and fertility. Um, it also lowers cholesterol. And um, if you're taking Clomid, it works together with that for better fertility as well. So NAC has a lot of properties and functions that they're still continuously discovering. I would highly recommend incorporating this into your um, dietary guidelines and um, you know supplementation through the day and see how you do. Um, I also believe it's you know a, a great way to also ward off any kind of cold or flu um, symptoms. I mean because it is replenishing your cellular activity. I think it definitely has a role in also um, minimizing any illnesses and so forth. So again. NAC, take a look at it, do the research for it. Again, in terms of dosage, I'm taking, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 a day. Um, and uh, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. So just wanted to clarify that and uh, throw, that, throw that back out there because I know I had mentioned it before. It was kind of unclear. Um, so again, that's something that can be taken. Uh, another question that may come up will be, I'm sure, is if can it be taken with um, metformin? And from my readings, it can. So... That's something to also consider. The one with metformin where it was kind of like a slippery slope was myonosidol. That one was, you know, because it's, um, it works like metformin, so you don't want to overdo it. But with this one, it's completely different makeup. In any case, any questions or comments, let me know. Thank you for sticking around and uh, taking a look. And um, uh, any, again, any feedback, it's always welcome. Right? Take care.